Intindihin, aralin dito sa buhay ang financial literacy na magpapaunlad sa iyong kalagayang pananalapi. Ang Salapi ng Pinoy, Salapinoy. Buy now, pay later is one payment scheme na tempting i-avail. Siyempre nga naman, you can easily have the item na gusto mo kahit wala ka pang sapat na pambayad dito. But what are the pros and cons of this particular installment plan? Ano ang mga dapat mong tandaan at mga what if na pwede mong uh, intindihin bago mo siya i-avail? Sabi nga sa business code from Marvin, abay ko hindi mo kayang abutin, wag mong bilhin. Alamin natin ang detalye tungkol dyan sa buy now, pay later mula sa ating resident financial advisor na si Arman Benko. Ngayon na nalalapit na ang Kapaskuhan, minabuti natin na pag-usapan ang isang financial tool or scheme na sumisikat at madalas inaalok pag sa mga panahong ito, ang Buy Now, Pay Later Scheme or Plan. Let's begin by understanding ano pa ang Buy Now, Pay Later Scheme. Basically, it is a financial arrangement na pinapayagan ang mamimili na bumili pero hindi muna babayaran sa oras ng pagkabili dahil babayaran ang binili sa darating na hinaharap. A financial arrangement that allows consumers to make a purchase and delay the payment for that purchase over a specified period. Maaari sa mga susunod at darating na linggo o ilang buwan pa sa hinaharap, depende sa terms of the plan. These schemes are typically offered by various online and lalo na offline retailers. And it has become Uh, especially prevalent during the holiday shopping season. Now, bakit ba ito naging popular? One, convenience. Isa sa pinakadahilan bakit ito ina-avail ng tao is convenience. Ang mamimili ay nakakabili ng mga kailangan o gusto nila nang hindi binabayaran agad ang binili. This can be particularly appealing during the holiday season when expenses tend to pile up. Susunod na dahilan, access to higher priced items. Buy now, pay later plans make it possible for consumers to afford higher priced items that may be out of reach if they had to pay for them in one lump sum or isang baksakan. Yung bakasyon o biyahe na gagawin ng pamilya ngayong kapaskuhan na sa plane ticket ay maaaring umabot ng 300,000 halimbawa. Depende sa destination at dami ng babiyahe at ng airline na gagamitin. Buy or biyahe now and pay later. So yung 300,000 magiging 12,500 a month, payable in 24 months. Panguli, kadalasan no interest ang alok sa buy now, pay later. Some of these plans come with zero interest if you pay within the specified time frame making them a cost-effective way to manage your purchases. Imagine, yung bagong iPhone 15. Wow! 85,000 to 110,000 pesos. iPhone. Sa inaalok na buy now, pay later, imbis na 100,000, o biski na 85,000 isang bagsakan, 3,600 to 4,600 a month, payable in 24 months or dalawang taon. Now, mga paalala natin kapag gumagamit ng buy now, pay later plans or pay later schemes. Number one, overspending. The most significant risk associated with buy now, pay later schemes ay yung mga overspending ng tao. The allure of deferred payments can lead people to make impulsive purchases. Na kung walang buy now, pay later scheme, ay baka hindi naman nila ito bibilhin. Pangalawa, na paalala, late fees and interests. If you fail to make payments on time, you can incur late fees and in some cases, cases mas mataas na interest rate. So, nabaliwala ang initial benefit sana ng buy now, pay later scheme dahil napagastos ka na, napagastos ka pa ng mahal. Pangatlo, debt accumulation. Kung nasanay masyado at panay ang paggamit ng buy now, pay later scheme, hindi na napapansin. Ayan, lubog na sa utang. Relying too heavily on these plans can lead to a cycle of debt. When you are constantly paying off yung mga 
ginastos o purchases mo nung nakaraan and hindi ka na nakaka-catch up. Panghuli, impact on your credit score. Missed payments or defaults on these plans maapektuhan ang katayuan ng individual sa mundo ng panalalapi. Buy now, pay later can negatively impact your credit score, making it harder to secure loans or credit in the future. Now, let's discuss when it is advisable to utilize buy now, pay later and when it is best to abstain. When to avail of buy now, pay later plans. One, when you have a clear budget. It's wise to use these plans when you have a well-defined budget at alam mo magkano talaga ang kaya or afford na bayarin sa nakatakdang panahon na babayaran. Stick to your budget to avoid overspending. Pangalawa, for essential purposes, purchases, consider the buy now, pay later plan for essential items or even unexpected expenses that you need immediately na gastosan pero baka wala kang funds at the moment. Pangatlo, kapag interest-free yung inaalok na buy now, pay later. If the plan offers an interest-free period that you are confident you can meet, yan, take advantage of the buy now, pay later scheme. This can save you money compared to using a credit card. Uh, maari rin pang emergency situation. In dire, serious cases of emergency where you need a vital item or service urgently and wala kang cash on hand, these plans can be a practical, short-term solution. Kailan naman iiwasan ang buy now, pay later plans? Number one, pag-impulsive purchases. Avoid using these plans for impulsive purchases or items that you don't really need. Madaling makerid away sa impulsive buying that lead to unnecessary debts. High interest rates. Suriin mabuti, baka ang buy now, pay later scheme ay may mataas na interest na ipinapataw, hindi mo lang nakita, hidden charges. Mataas din ang uh, fees or charges if na-delay, uh, nahuli ka ng bayad. Maski isang araw lang. In such cases, explore alternative financing options or consider saving up for the purchase instead. Panghuli or pangatlo, unpredictable future finances. If your financial situation is uncertain at hindi mo masigurado na mababayaran ayon sa payment schedule na napag-agrihan, it's best to avoid this buy now, pay later plan to prevent from accumulating debt. Kailan ka pa iiwas dito sa buy now, pay later? Kapag meron kang kasalukuyan na utang. If you are already, uh, if you already have substantial debt, it's generally advisable to refrain from uh, from adding more loans. Lalo na itong buy now, pay later plans. Focus on paying down your existing obligations first. At panghuli, credit score. Kung mahalaga sa inyo ang credit score. Mag-ingat lalo na at huwag nang pumasok sa buy now, pay later schemes. Missed payments can negatively affect your credit history. Buy now, pay later schemes offer both convenience and flexibility, especially during this coming holiday season. But they also carry significant risks, if not managed wisely. To make the most of these plans, budget meticulously, make timely payments, and resist the allure of overspending. Habang palapit na tayo sa festive season ng Kapaskuhan, Gastusan kaliwat kanan, remember that financial responsibility and literacy are essential for a prosperous and debt-free future. So make informed and responsible financial choices. Suguraduhin nyo na these buy now, pay later plans ay ayon at tugma sa inyong long-term goals at lalo na sa inyong budget. Your financial discipline and mindfulness will be the keys to ensuring these plans work in your favor without accumulating unnecessary debt. Maraming salamat and uh, here's to making smart financial decisions this Christmas Yuletide season.